Chief Meteorologist Tom Strolls and the new 11 o'clock track. Tom. Here we go. Come take a look. Now, the storm has not really gathered much strength since the last advisory. We're holding at 110 miles per hour. For maximum sustained winds, pressure's down to 958 millibars. been dropping, dropping, and dropping. And look at that number. Moving to the north at 18 miles per hour. So it's zipping right along. It's not going to be a huge rainmaker. It's the wind. Look at this. Here's the big differential in this update. The National Hurricane Center is now projecting this will be a Category 4 at landfall just outside of Perry about 8 o'clock in the morning. So what is it? It's like nine hours from now. This thing is going to be a monster. We've been saying it could be a Cat 3 at landfall all day long today, but it has nothing but warm water and no shear to slow it down. So the Hurricane Center is up that prog to a 4, a Category 4 possible at landfall. That's horrible. For that community up there, it's going to be nasty, devastating, and historic. And that means it's going to be super strong all the way across the state line, possibly into Savannah, Georgia, tomorrow night as a Category 1 storm that far over land. It's just crazy what this storm is capable of doing and what we expect to happen with it in the next 24 to 48 hours. Here's live weather radar right now. Scattered showers associated with the banding are happening right now along the Gulf Coast. For the most part, most of you haven't seen rain in hours, but now it's starting to overrun Sumter County, getting into southern Marion County as well the next couple of hours. This is what the storm looks like, and it's this banding of stuff here that's going to ride right up the Gulf Coast. It's increasing our tornado chances overnight. Here's our tornado watch until 6 a.m. Alachua, Marion, all of Lake and Sumter counties until 6 in the morning. Standing by now with more is meteorologist Candace Campos. Hey, Candace. Well, Tom, of course, as those feeder bands continue to rotate around it, again, here's another kind of view until 6 a.m. where the areas here highlighted in yellow will be that tornado watch. But we also have advisories for flooding as well as those feeder bands will be packing a lot of rain in a very short amount of time. So expected rainfall totals, new updates still holding on to about three to six inches of rain potentially across our far western zones, including Marion, Lake, and some County, but even for you guys up and down the I-4 corridor along our coastline, we could still rack up significant rain by the time this event is all all said and done. You can see up to about an inch and a half, almost two and a half inches potentially, all depending on where those bands continue to rotate around. Also, a flood watch is effect. This is at least until Wednesday evening for parts of Western Marion County and all of Sumter County until again Wednesday evening, as there will be that potential for some flooding rain. But again, as Tom was mentioning, this is a very fast moving storm. So the concern of it sitting over the area is not there. Another big concern, though, is historic storm surge that's anticipated up and down the Big Bend area. You can see some of these numbers showing about 15 to 17 foot storm surge in some of these areas. There's a lot of tributaries, little creeks and streams that is going to continue to inundate this part of the coastline. But even with it being along the Gulf Coast, Across the area here in the Atlantic, we're still dealing with potentially one to three foot storm surge. As we head into Wednesday, though, we are also talking about a full moon that can actually increase the high tides an extra foot potentially. We'll be pinpointing more on what your impacts are looking like for tomorrow. And of course, throughout the overnight hours coming up in just a few minutes. Matt, Lisa.